Hi everybody, hope everyone's staying well, staying home and staying safe. Um, we're obviously not going to be able to meet up for this month, uh, so I thought it would be nice to have a look at um, some AI fingering and give you a little bit of something to do during the lockdown. I'm at home, I know you guys are at home as well. Um, so, to take the opportunity of, of playing the instruments that I have at home, I've got the Viscount here, the organ, and I've also got the SX900 here, which I'm sure you're familiar with. So I thought we'd take the opportunity actually to show you, from an organist's point of view, some different bass lines using the AI fingering. Now, I know that some of you use the AI fingering, and I know that some of you don't. If you can have a go with this, it makes your music making so much more creative on a portable keyboard or a clavinova, basically anything that's style-based, it makes a huge difference. Now, AI fingering is a way of playing your normal chords. You have to change very little in the way that you play but it enables you then to manipulate the bass lines just the same as we can when you play organ and you have the pedals on the floor that you can play manual bass. This means that in theory you can play any chord with any bass note. Now obviously some of those sound horrible, but it does give you the opportunity to change the bass lines and make things a little more musical, a little more creative. We're going to take a look at a piece of music today called She Moves Through the Fair. Now I'm going to play it first on the Viscount, so from an organist point of view you can see what's going on. And then we'll take the same piece of music on the SX900 using one of the free play styles and using AI fingering. Using the AI fingering I can show you that we can do exactly the same on a single keyboard as we can on an organ with the bass pedals. Now I've heard AI fingering being called A1 fingering before. Um, that's not correct, it's AI fingering. So let's first of all have a look to see how it's played on the organ featuring the Viscount Cadet 31. Most of the chords that I played in that particular piece of music is exactly the same chords as I would play on single keyboard. Lots of the bass notes are the same that would be generated by your single keyboard. But there's a few here that are different. Let's take a look at those. Here we've got a run of four chords, G minor, F, B flat and C. Here's the G minor. The F, the B flat, and the C. If I show you this on pedals, you'll see it looks a little bit awkward. G down to the F, then all the way up to the B flat, then the C. Much easier to go G, A, B flat, and C. Not only is that easier to play on organ, but it gives us a nice counter melody to the piece of music. Let's take a look now how we can play that on AI fingering on the SX900. Let's compare the two. Here's the G minor on organ and on SX900. 
Here's the F on A bass, played normally with the left hand on organ, but with the A bass on pedals. And now let's see how that looks on SX900. Notice that I'm only playing two notes. The top note, the F, is the chord. The bottom note, the A, is essentially the bass pedal note. Here's the B flat, and here's the C. So out of that little run, essentially the only chord that we changed from playing organ to playing single keyboard was that F chord. And using AI, all I needed to do was to play two notes. F for the chord, A for the bass, and automatically the SX900 changes that to play an F chord with an A bass. You'll hear that happen quite a lot in this piece of music. Later on during She Moves Through the Fair, I play a C chord, but then we need to play an E bass note with that chord. Again, it's just harmonically nice. Here's how it looks on an organ. And here's how it looks on SX900. Again, notice that the chord is played with the thumb, just one note at the top, C note, and the little finger plays the E note at the bottom to generate that pedal. So this has been quite a simple little task today of exploring the way that AI fingering means that you can actually manipulate bass lines really easily just using two notes. Let's hear the whole piece through on the SX900. And of course there's, there's loads of pieces, pretty much every piece that you play you'll be able to do this with and it makes a big difference. We'll look soon at another piece of music that you'll know really well and we'll have a look at how that's played on organ and then on keyboard. And remember of course that although the stores are closed, the warehouse and the website are working. So if there's anything that you need just get it through the website for now. I'll look forward to seeing you all back in Edinburgh very soon. In the meanwhile, stay home, stay safe, enjoy your music, and we'll see you soon.